If you've never done it, checking your blood sugar is really easy. You can buy a $20 finger pricking unit it's called a blood glucose monitor. And the one I use is called the Keto Mojo. Mine also checks ketones, and you can find that one on my website, ajconsultingcompany.com, and why I use that. But the first thing you do is you take out a strip. Make sure it's a blood glucose strip and not a ketone strip, of course. Now here's the Lancet. It has a spring-loaded system on one end and a little cap that you remove on the other end. This is where the micro needle will be inserted. And prepare the Lancet by removing the safety cap off the little micro needle. Push it in there. Cock the spring back. and release it by pushing the button. Since you can't see it once the cap is on, here's what's actually going on inside the lancet. It's just popping up that micro needle. I often do it on the side of my finger where it's a little bit less calloused. If you do a lot of deadlifting and things like that, it's gonna be tricky to get blood. You often wanna push that blood down. All you need is one drop. You can do it, there's kids that do this every day. Now that I have a drop ready to roll, I push the glucose strip into the machine. This automatically turns it on and it starts blanking when it's ready. When the droplet icon flashes or blinks on the glucose meter, you can corral that drop of blood into the meter. Then it'll give you a number. Now generally the units will be in milligrams per deciliter, but just to confuse you, I've got it set for the Canadian units here. You can do easy online conversions with those units to figure out what your blood sugar is in milligrams per deciliter. It's really that easy, thanks for watching. Be sure to push the microneedle back into the safety cap before you dispose and keep your blood sugar, your fasted blood sugar, below 85 milligrams per deciliter or 4.68 millimoles per liter. That's the optimal level.